Welcome back, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Before we look at raising sales invoices and posting other income to Sage One accounts, we're going to look up products and services and also adding customers and suppliers. And we'll look at adding customers and suppliers first. So under contacts, click on customers. You'll have this screen appear, which is a list of your all your customers you've added onto Sage. To add more onto Sage One accounts, you can import them from a CSV file, like an Excel template. Download the template there, fill the template in, then browse the template, click upload, and it will import your customer information into Sage One accounts. Alternatively, you can create new customers here. It asks for a name. This is a contact name, not the name of the company. Um, so you may have someone specific you invoice. So in there I'll put Bookkeeping Master, the company being BPFS. You can put a telephone number in. Something like that. A mobile number if they have one. You can put an email address in. like so and a VAT number click on address you can put the address details of the customer in and county and the postcode also the country. You can also put in the delivery address in there if you want to and also the notes. We'll put in the delivery address which is the same as the company address. So you'd fill all in that with the delivery address and then put any notes that you want to add to this customer. So the note you may want to put in could be something like bookkeeping provider or just a note. You'll probably leave that blank um, but the option is there. Once you've done all that, click save and you'll see that it appears here. It will be the company name and then your contact in brackets, their telephone number and email address. The process is the same with suppliers. Go under contacts, click suppliers. You can import suppliers or create a new supplier. The box is exactly the same. Like so. If you don't want to spend your time creating this customer supplier list, when you are raising invoices, you can actually add these customers and suppliers as you go along by clicking this button here, but we'll come to this a bit later on. And the same with purchase invoices. If you just want to add them as you go along, when you record an invoice, you can add a contact there. Okay, I'll be back soon. Thank you very much for watching.